Why, hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your Divine Guidance Reading, where we are spiritual as fuck. If we haven't met yet, my name is High Priestess Barry, psychic, medium, and divine channel, are hoping to bring you a message. Now, always remember, my messages are candid, unscripted, but they are also timeless, so please tap into your instincts. Listen to your intuition. If there's anything that I talk about that doesn't make any sense, totally fine. Do not worry about it. This message may not be for you, but if it does resonate, please let me know by liking and comment below. Um, so, Sagittarius, I'm feeling very confused in your energy, um, and... I feel as though you, there's somebody, um, that it's either you're over identifying with them or it's sort of like, it's not an identity crisis, but you may be feeling really confused at this time. It's sort of as though I know who I am, but there's, uh, there's some distortion within your feminine energy at this time that, uh, needs to be cleared out. So you can start having a little bit more governorship on your personal identity. Um, I'm going to shuffle here and it's taking me a while. It is what it is, but, um, I want to try to tune into who this energy could be so that, um, in some ways it's like, once you see it, you'll have a way easier time clearing it. So what do we got down here? Salty, bitter, petty, angry, as my ex-sister-in-law used to say to me, be petty. You've earned it. Um, I feel like there's somebody that, um, who's really hurt you. And I feel like there's still some, uh, latent resentment. So let's go ahead and cut. Oh my God. If I Freudian slip a different sign for you, Sagittarius, I'm going to automatically apologize, but we got the card of trapped underneath there. Smell the roses. It's, uh, <laughs> sorry. This person is sort of like, if they're stuck in the bathroom, right now they're constantly spraying the bathroom with with uh a fragrance like this person uh shit this person's shit really stinks and they're trying so hard to cover it up who is this person archangel michael protection from harm divine intervention like it's one of these things where you more than likely had uh, a bit of a separation from this person maybe you're not talking or something happened that just created a sudden uh shift within your guys's dynamic what else do we have right here consequences bad choices games mixed signals like uh, it's sort of like, you know, knowing you need to break up with somebody or just kind of recognizing that somebody else isn't willing to take responsibility for their own actions. And it's one of these, um, it's one of these situations where it's like, I don't want to stand next to you. Like, I don't even want to be remotely associated with you. And you probably push this person away because you knew if you stuck around long enough that, um, you would be sort of, uh, what's, what's the, what's the legal term? It's a sort of like basically crime by association. I know there's a way better term for it. Let me know what the, the word is below. I know you lawyer types like to watch me. Um, but let's get a throw paranoia, cautious, insecure, guarded. Ooh, yeah. Oh God. I got a sudden headache right now. It's like you actually watch this person go through a mental health crisis and maybe you try to help them and they just didn't want your help. It's like, you know, again, going back to my, uh, my silly, uh, you know, illustration a little bit earlier, like someone's welcome to lock themselves in the bathroom as long as they want and they can, you know, spray as much perfume they want. Eventually they're just going to run out of perfume. So in a lot of ways, I feel like whoever is within your energy, they run out of options, but the fact that they are in your energy, even though, um, like there's been some kind of either a sever, a cord cutting or a, 
um, like a blockage. It's like you've tried so hard just to get this fucker out of your life. Why do I keep smelling shit roses? So um, we're, I'm kind of changing up the reading how we want to do it because we need to first of all identify who are you. It's sort of like I got to sift through your energy so we can actually get you back to um, sort of your quote unquote base normal. Now, I did recently release a um, an air signs um reading uh and it's about uh and it's about understanding who you are within your own energy and then there's an extended associated with that for anybody who would like to be able to clear on um intrusive thoughts so go check that reading out if you think um, this is very resonant to what it is that you're going through and I'll try my best to remember to put it in the, uh, the link below, but, um, we need to figure out where it is that you are at so we can start, um, creating some contrast and what's going on. You're mirroring this person like crazy, but you're on the higher timeline and they're on the shit timeline. And, um, the Archangel Michael is here just to sort of build an illustration to make sure that, um, you don't react to a situation based on somebody else's energy. So on your end, Libra, we'll start off with you. At the base, I do have the Father of Cups, along with the uh, Father of Pentacles. Like you're starting to take a lot more ownership for um, your mood, more ownership of um, when you love somebody and they aren't able to love you back, that you don't hold it against them, realizing they're not for you. This is also helping you heal out your physical realm, realizing that when you don't spend your time, energy, and money on people who don't wish to receive your help, you're no longer wasting money on taking them out for drinks. You're no longer wasting your energy and, oh my God, up until the middle of the night, I know you're going through another panic attack, but I'm not your doctor. Like, this person has actually um, drained your resources. There's a reason why you had to cut them out. And I will say for this person over here, like they're trying to sit pretty. They're trying to look cute. They're trying to make themselves it's sort of like, I'm a poor little puppy. Pay attention to me. But underneath there, we also have a king of pentacles. This person is just accustomed to um, acting pathetic. <laughs> and um, they, they've been able to magnetize enough people into their reality just to get attention on how pathetic and I'm hearing apathetic they feel about reality. But let's look at you, Sagittarius. Again, I keep wanting to, I want to call you Libra. So um, this person over here could be a Libra. I know I was talking about an air signs reading. So I really feel like there's a lot of air and fire um, uh, going on. Uh, and this could be based on your signs, based on your personality, or even just sort of circumstances based on, you know, the astrology. But, oh, we got the card of the tower. No more, motherfucker! After the, yeah, there we go. Got the card of death underneath there. Like, there, it's, you burned a bridge. And it's one of these things where you've burned the bridge, but the smoke can still reach its way over the water. Smoke on the water and lightning in the sky. Okay, what do we got here? We got Son of Pentacles, moving on, paying attention to your own routine, you know, taking care, you know, Saggy's taking care of Sagittarius, and more moving on. This is like the calm and sort of in some ways, yeah, you burned the bridge. Yeah, the, the fire that the other person started, because this other person started the fire. We didn't start the fire. Liar! <laughs> I've got a lot of music going through my mind. It's giving me a fucking headache. But um, it's sort of like you're kind of praying for rain. Purple rain. Oh my god, purple rain. Um, along with the um, Wheel of Fortune. It's sort of like you knew that it was time. Like you knew it was time to leave this person because um, to invest any more energy into them, like it's sort of as though it's kind of like the friend that you let them stay at your house because, you know, the wife kicked them out or they lost their job or there, something was going on and they, they totally had the, a legitimate excuse as to why it is they're struggling. You wanted to give them sort of like, you know, cheap room and board. But this person, again, they keep clogging the toilet like they keep like, you know, destroying the septic system 
system. And even if you have conversations with them about it, saying, hey, look, my house, my rules, they don't have the spoons to care what it is you have to say. There's a lot of this defiance. And that, I think that's part of the reason why there's a lot of intermixing, especially if you've been living with this person or you had something financially tied to them. It's one thing to physically separate yourself, but if you have any sort of legal contracts or soul contracts, that stuff still lingers until you can find a way to properly absolve it. But let's have a look at your uh, the con this contrasting individual, the person that you're actively getting away from. Um, yeah, we got the moon. I'm hearing they're kind of clueless, but underneath there, Wheel of Fortune? Holy shit. Like, it... it it's like they didn't see it coming or they're not going to see it coming. I, For those of you Sagittarians that are considering doing this, I think some of you, you're, you're, it's like, I think I do need to walk away from this. I need to take care of myself. Listen to that. And you could be worried, like, what if this person is lost on the street? Well, they didn't take advantage of their time with you and you gave them all the chances in the world. And just because they can't get their shit together doesn't mean that you were their responsibility in the first place. I have to say that right off the bat. Um, but this person's also keeping secrets. Like this person has so many backup plans. It's sort of like they'll act as though you are their last straw. Oh, they got plenty of people. They got pl their idea of that resources when we saw that King of Pentacles a little bit earlier. Like um, their resources is just having a backup plan of couch surfing. Oh, I'll be fine. Like I can totally, like I've got 10 friends and even if I could get away with like couch surfing, I'll say two weeks, but it'll technically be six weeks. They got, they've already figured out a free rent plan for a whole year and they're just going to burn through all those relationships with no consequence. And they're just going to put on the pouty eyes with every single one of them to extend their stay as long as possible. Like they have burned their graces with you and you cutting and running and take caring of yourself like I'm hearing you're karmically absolved of this, but let's get a few cards here. Got six of swords. No wonder you guys, no wonder you're struggling with over identifying with the enemy. I'm hearing we got six of swords along with justice. <laughs> Damn four of swords. Um, you know, like the, sometimes the way I look at tarot is um, sometimes I add up everything and it's sort of like if you take a four plus a six, getting onto calmer waters, but taking your fucking time. Like you ever seen that Zootopia movie at the DMV? And it's like, one moment. Oh, this person, they're manipulating you by acting slow. And, um, it's this, you need, to, they know it needs to come to an end and they're slowing down the energy as much as possible because they think that's how they can maintain balance. That's a bit of an illusion, but a 10 reduces to a one. And part of the reason you're a little bit confused right now is because, um, they're trying to take divine energy and manipulate it into a survival template. Like we all do it. Um, and it's sort of like, you know, you hear a story or you hear instructions, but you don't really get the uh, spirit of the law. They're taking to the letter of the law. So there is a reason why you are confused. Both of you do desire to get onto calmer waters, but the motivation as to what a calm, calmer waters are supposed to be is very different. Like you know that you have to get back into a routine and this can be a very slow energy, but this person, they're slowing down, um, like their, their mental space, they're trying to slow it down because they're so overstimulated. They can't think things through. So in some ways it's like you're learning how to take command while well, this person's succumbing to their um like really this person just really needs mental health intervention but they're so broke because to even have access to mental health resources is is a privilege especially usually something that only happens when you're either hella employed or completely destitute. It's sort of like this person lives in the proverbial middle class of mental health resources. So like your heart can go out to them, but you know it is time. And the divine knows that it is justified for you to take care of yourself first because this person won't take care of themselves. You gave them the ability to take a few things off of their back. You, you gave them like a chance and they didn't take advantage of those resources. They chose to wallow. So um, 
Oh, I'm being encouraged to, to shuffle again. What can you release and what can you focus on and what would be the guidance from spirit at this time? And it's more so releasing the person conceptually is easy, but there's some, um, uh, a lie that you've told yourself. And I think it's just guilt. You just want to make sure you're doing the right thing. You want to make sure that there's no blood on your hands. First of all, there is no blood on your hands. Like, I feel like this person could be threatening, like in some cases, not all cases. Like this is the type of person who would threaten self-harm if you don't help them. Like this person's stuck at an age of like the terrible twos. It doesn't matter if they're in their twenties, thirties or forties. Like they never learned how to grow up past um, those initial ages of two or three. Like, especially if you know that they came from a highly dysfunctional family on and if you know that they had parents that were not really emotionally mature like i feel like you know way too much about this person they've shared everything about their life with you and it's not so much they shared everything with you so that you will understand how pathetic they are and that you won't do the bad thing you won't do the right thing for yourself like they're just trying to make sure you feel guilty and they probably had parents that guilt the shit out of them. Yeah. Five of, um, five of wands being told to cut like it's bullshit. They're, they're just delaying their own inevitable and they're trying to make you feel bad about it. <laughs> There's the moon. Damn. This is so divinely guided. Like it's sort of like, they're just trying to pull the wool over your eyes, but you know, deep down inside, they're just going to cause another nightmare. Like, you know, they're, they're just going to break something else. They're, they're going to create another unexpected expense. Like what do we have up here? Justice. <laughs> this is fun. Again, there's a reason why you're confused, but, um, you know, given that we have justice on their side, justice on your side, Sagittarius, I have to keep saying your name. So I remember who it is that you are like this person hasn't been taking advantage of your kindness in a proper way. They just been using it as an excuse to stay the same, to stay comfy. And they aren't able to look at their own demons and it is the right thing for you to take care of yourself first, especially if this energy has really disrupted your life. Cause at least professionals, there are professional boundaries to ensure that this person's problems does not bleed over into their lives. But if you're somebody who's a caring person, or maybe you're actually attracted to caregiving, um, like a caregiving career. Um, this is sort of like the person where, you know, you freelance out your caregiving abilities and they're not compensating you properly. Like you've been way cheerful with this person. What can you retain? Three of Pentacles. You need to get yourself restored and you need to actually restore yourself with a network of people who are solid that actually do have the means of taking care of themselves because, um, when you have an ankle biter, like it's, it's fine to have your own two year old child that you are learning to bring up into the world. It's not good again, when they're a 20, 30 or 40 year old ankle biter and, um, they have chosen not to face, um, the difficulties of their own past. And in a lot of ways it's not for you because, you know, Archangel Michael is here and Michael can help you, um, see a situation for what it is. But when someone's so fucking traumatized, they don't understand that the truth um, could set you free. And a lot of people, they just don't want to see the truth because they have so much PTSD. And again, you're neither incentivized nor qualified to help this person. We've got the star. Like we had the tower a little bit earlier and that brings forward the star. Like you have things you desire to do. There are stuff that, you know, you know that you need to be karmically compensated, whether if this is, um, you know, getting your money back in terms of, um, the expenses this person has caused within your life. Um, the amount of time that you have lost, like there's a lot of this sort of, um, lost time, lost resources, lost sanity that, you know, you need to reclaim. And you've been asking to reclaim that and you being able to release this person feel the guilt. It's okay to feel guilty. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel your emotions. You're being the emotionally mature one when you are feeling your own emotions. Um, got a few minutes here. Um, let's what's okay. Let's, let's just creep on this person. And this is sort of kind of guide you. If you're still verbally talking to this individual that you can kind of see, speak to them in a way that because my, my, Michael's energy can be used as a weapon, um, as well as a healing tool. Like 
it's a scalpel. Like scalpels can be used to do surgery or they can use to stab people. Like you're trying to learn how to use your truth in a way that is healing, but it, you know, how it's kind of like, how do you get the um, anesthesia in place so that you can help yourself to help them. Like in some ways it's you learning how to numb yourself to their bullshit, not numb yourself to your own emotions. Like this person is into numbing themselves. Oh, wow. Nine of cups came back. King of wands. Like, like the, this King of Wands is kind of cute. Like, you know, King of Wands is supposed to be about, yeah, just drive, pack, like, you know, being the leader of the pack, you know, like this is someone who's like, no, I've totally got a bunch of interviews. Yeah, like, you know, I'm gonna totally make my business work out. Totally gonna make my business work out. Totally gonna do it my way. Like this person may on the surface act as though they have some drive and ambition, but remember earlier I was talking about this cute little puppy with the cute little eyes. It, again, they're just blaming you because like, you see this little paw right here? You know, I, I find that people who behave confidently, like, uh, you know, they, we gesture locate, you know, we talk, we say big words, like, you know, we, we kind of go out our way to show how confident we are. Normally, the, the more confident that people behave is actually in great proportion of how worthless and insecure they feel on the outside. This person is trying to um, project an outside version of themselves to make them look like they got their shit together, that they're going to be fine. But this person's stuck in a sunk cost fallacy issue. This is somebody that invested into Bitcoin, but they realized they got involved in a scam instead. Um, this is somebody else who may have... Um, like they may also have a sad story constantly saying how bad their life was, how their parents never loved them. Like you might have had like maybe a decent um, upbringing or maybe you had some semblance of resources and they make you feel um, guilty that you've had those resources. Um, and that's a them problem. Again, they didn't take advantage of the energy that you offered them, whether if that is giving them space, giving them shelter, giving them food, giving them um, some money, giving them a fucking bathroom to go to, you know, it's, it is nice to have those resources, but at the base over here, eight of cups, like this is just more so, you know, they need to move on. It is interesting. I do see the cuttlefish because cuttlefish energy is, um, it can be very, depressed and apathetic cuttlefish um they can actually really struggle with um losing energy becoming apathetic not being willing to quite move around like this is the sea creature that's known to accidentally let their young starve to death so this person can't take care of themselves and um they're kind of stuck they're not even blue they're beige um and there's they're so disconnected from source. They're expecting you to be their God. They're expecting you to be their source, to be their mummy and their daddy. And you've done everything you can to show them, hey, hey, if you just take this, you know, this, uh, you know, solar star chakra, and just, you know, plug it in, you can get yourself out of the matrix. Like you keep trying to show them what it is they need in order to get their own resources, but they still find a way to suckle off of your energy. Four of wands. This person needs to discover what home means to them. They more than likely grew up in a household where everybody had to bend to everybody else's whim, like more than likely hella karmic, very toxic and, um, not a very loving supporting environment, but the bower bird is, um, a creature that will go a little bit too far out of its way to make a home that's suitable for somebody else. This person has no concept as to what home is supposed to be. And that's why they're constantly fighting against you. You're just being encouraged right now. You have a manifestation that's incoming and it has everything to do with you reestablishing your sense of foundation and what teamwork is supposed to be. Knowing that you guys are equal. And if there is somebody who's struggling that they are willing to listen to your wisdom. And if they're not willing to listen, you don't need to feel guilty about allowing them to walk on their way. This person is actually being held back by your kindness and your generosity, despite what it is that they would say to you. This person's just scared. 
Let them be scared. You can pray for them. Maybe you can cheer for them on the sidelines, but all you're being asked to do, Sagittarius, just align with who it is, who you truly are, know what it is your actual value is, and just recognize that not everybody can go with you in this next length. This person, they'll find a way, they will eventually be okay, but it's not your responsibility anymore. I'm just saying. Whew. Well, Sagittarius, whoever you are, damn, I really hope that this helped. Holy fuck. Well, uh, if this resonated, please make sure to like this video, send me a comment below, and if you're kind of curious what the next message is going to be, ooh, I highly recommend that you subscribe. Good luck, Sagittarius, and until I see you the next one, I'm wishing you peace, love, and all the berries. Bye!